Alrighty, back here at the Down to Forge Forge. We've got our forge running, we've got a couple pieces in there. Got a spike and a piece of coil spring. And today I also have my nephew here. I'm probably not going to show you on camera, just, I don't know how your parents feel about it. <laughs> awesome. Oh, it is? Okay. Alright then. This is my nephew. And I'm going to be teaching him how to forge with us. He's going to be using that piece of coil spring. And uh, yeah, got some interesting projects on that we need to get done at some point. Yeah, We've, a couple of hunting knives and bowie knives and things like that for different people. So it seems everybody's requesting them now. Yeah. Yeah, as soon as you tell someone you're a blacksmith, then they're like, oh, think you can make me something? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah so we've got some really cool materials here. We have these bearing races. So um, these probably are 52-100, but there is a possibility they're not. We'll definitely find out when we forged it. Uh, we've got some railway anchors. So that's probably like a 1045, 1050, 1040, 1050 steel. And I'm thinking what I'm going to do with this. Uh, one of the fellows that I know actually asked for me to make some scythes. So that'd be just the thing. Straighten it out, cut it in two, and bam. Obviously, a couple more steps than that. But <laughs> also with the anvil here. We've got these big speaker magnets underneath the, the horns, so it should be a lot less ring. Won't need to have somebody there holding the... Yeah, which is just a lot nicer. Oh, absolutely. So we'll get back to you when we're ready to forge. Shouldn't let go of that. Oh no, things uh, are happening. We ran out of heat. I should have hammered it. <laughs> a bit harder if that's the case. And like with this I guess too. Running out of heat on that one. Yeah. It's not working as well today. Away you go. Hit it harder. He's gone out of it. Yeah. Uh, don't have a very good grip on this. That's what I mean. We, one of us should be holding, one of us should be uh, hammering. Some Willie. <laughs> there we go. Now let me get this back. Hold that in good. Next time, when we get it heated up, what I want you to try to do, take it over the corner of the anvil like this. Uh, it's like difficult, but uh, maybe I'll flatten it out for you because it seems like the tongs just don't want to grip it very well. You need a really strong grip on it. Yeah. But we'll try to straighten it out. Make it not so round. As we found out, it's very, very good. Okay, 
steel grip. Scheiße, Scheiße. Ah, crap, crap, crap. <laughs> so we got a bit of heat now. By the time I get everything back on. Crap. Well, we need some different tongs too at some point. Yeah, we need to make more tongs. Ideal. Alright, so let's. It's a little bit melted. It's still good. It's still good. It is. Wait, wait, which episode? It's just a little airborne. It's still good. Make sure it's flat to the anvil whenever you strike it. Oh no. Oh no. Two oh, hands. Get no. it. I'm not burning stuff, I swear. Couple hits at it. That's about all you get out of that heat. See, is it still on? Mm -hmm. You can see on the end of that. Can you see it on the camera? It's kind of yeah. curved into an S there. Not really. There yeah. we go. You can see it's curved into an S at the end. And uh, so I'm definitely going to have to flatten that out to make sure that it's not bending the wrong way or else I'm going to have a cold shut. I don't want that. Good, get that flattened out. Good. Careful. It's all bent at the end up. Yeah, maybe that's what we'll do next time. We'll stick it in just away so whenever you're picking it up, you're picking it up from the flat end. Then you can work on the bent end. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Alrighty, let's go do that. Tip is as hot as I want, but I can still work it real quick like. Should have been a bit hotter.
going back to just holding the horn because uh, it's annoying having to go back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> I unearthed your piece a little bit there. That's yeah, alright. Here, try to get it the other way. I'll hold it and you hammer it. Let's go this way. You know what, I think we'll do it this way from now on. I'll hold it, a new hammer, and we'll see if we can get you on a bigger hammer. Okay. Then you'll only be... problem if it's supposed to be a knife. There we go, that fixed it for the most part. Now I just need to get it into an actual tip. That'll be the next year, I guess. A blacksmithing is done teamwork. Hit the piece. All right, that's about all we're gonna get out of that. Look at that. Heck of a lot flatter than it was. Mm -hmm. Got myself with a spark. Oh, it happens. That's what my. Yeah, I kind of assumed oh. it was. Charcoal. Side so for a ride. See all the charcoal dust sparking off it? Mm -hmm. Got a bit of a drop point there. So now all we need to do is make sure we're at a good level thickness. Make sure it's straight. And bevel the edge. Now curve up slightly. Just kind of make that point a little bit more pointier, but uh, that'll be pretty easy to do, I think. Stinger. 
So we get out of that. Get this truck all off. Did you get hit with something? Yeah, I got a little, little splash. I'm already muted. It's a nice spoon. Something where the kind of looks like the uh, Starship Enterprise. Why is it slightly magnetic? <laughs> no, I'm just crazy. No, nope. I'm pretty sure that that was sticking to your tongue. Hot as it should have been. <laughs> oh, I can see the. Oh, yeah, we go. Oh, my. That is almost no. Oh. It's messy, sorry. Just I saw it was time to go. When it's time to go, you gotta go. Oh actually. Uh, almost. Yours is probably ready, Parker. Okay. Probably been ready for a while, actually. But, uh, I don't know if I can find it. <laughs> I'm sure it's just like a melted puddle at the bottom of it. <laughs> We've had some melt on this thing. It didn't melt it. What? There we go. Ready when you are. It's already on. Good. That was quite crazy. That's a uh, red, red, red. Oh. Look at that. See, it's even sparking. Jeez. Backing up. That's definitely going to work. Look at that. I think you did as well as you did. Yeah. Pretty cool. Evaluation? Here's it right here, at the very end. 
So on? Mm -hmm. Right there at the very end, it's fused. Yeah, but all the way up here. It's not on the camera. Yeah. You're bit up. Big damn this thing. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So at the very end here, that is welded. But up here, up here, sorry. Getting used to using oh you getting used to using this camera. Up here is not welded. Um, and it's also splitting here. I actually had it hot enough that it was sparking the carbon right out of it. This is only just stainless steel. But... Sparkling stainless steel. Yeah. So that's at forge welding temperatures. Woo! Too hot. That was a big explosive. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Instant flame. Got the spoon here. I would have been curious to about that thing going like this. Alrighty. Let's see. If anything, if nothing else, this is more of a test for forge welding. Set that down. Alrighty, so we got our spoon here. It bends up to Oh, that is delicate. Seems really dark on the screen, maybe it's just this thing is oh there goes that. And here we have oh no Ale? too hot to touch. No? Yeah. I was going to say then, do we have permission to throw this in? But look at this! Disintegrate? What? Where the surfaces were together, I think it might have actually just broke the... You know, I think it was somewhat actually welded. Because they're clean. Those are clean surfaces. Yeah. You can like see there, and that's where they were stuck together. Would you like to see this melt into nothing? Sure. Love so we're going to take these pieces and just... Toss them right in the hottest part of the forge. Here. I got the uh, knife. Oh, that was zoomed in. That explains a lot. The knife is still in there too. It's probably good to go with this part. Sort of flattening it out, making it even, even width all along. That is the opposite of good. Yeah. 
That's bad. Oh no, wait. Yeah. Oh dang. Just drop it. Yeah. Hard to hold on to. It's very thin. Oh, there's a piece broke good. right off. Yeah, that's burnt. Nerf. Burnt the steel. Oh, that piece charcoal. Charcoal. Okay, it was charcoal. I thought for sure that it was uh, burnt steel. It's a pretty nasty scale on here, though. The steel's in a bad way. Let's put it that way. Yeah. I'll shoot the outside for now.